Photography is an art form like drawing and painting. Photography is derived from Greek for painting with light. Photography can be considered both an art and science. Photography is a science because there are basic principles of physics that govern success. And photography is art because its beauty is subjective. Photographers use their camera to make us see life in a different way, feel emotions, and record stories and events. Photography has its three basic types, the landscape photography, the portrait photography, and the documentary photography. Landscape is the visible features of an area of land, its landforms, and how they integrate with natural or man-made features. Example of the landscape photography is the Bulkan Mayan of Albay Bicol, Philippines. A portrait photography is a representation of a person in which the face and its expression are predominant. Example of the portrait photography are the holding Virginia by Sally Man and the dress by Sally Man. Documentary photography is usually refers to a popular form of photography used to chronicle events or environments, both significant to history and historical events as well as everyday life. Example of the documentary photography is The Boy and the Car in New York City by Jerome Lambling, year 1949. Exposure. The exposure is a measure of how bright Pluto sits in your memory. We have a four factors, light, shutter speed, aperture, ISO. The, the photographic triangle is a correct exposure, the sample combination of three important factors, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Aperture is the size of a whole diagram, the allow light in the camera, the large and the whole, the more light enter camera and give up light. Aperture and tip of fields. The aperture does more than just control the amount of light that hits the center. The size of the apertures affect the way image look well. Shutter speed and motion capture control the amount of time the shutter or curtain the open. Shutter speed is a measure in a fractors of seconds depending on the camera. It's a show of shutter speed without the numerator. 250 instead of 2 to 50. Film speed, film speed ISO is a measure of sensitive of the film center in the camera. It measures in values using ISO numbers, ISO simple standards in the International Organization of Standards with both analog and digital cameras. What is up my dudes today in Film 101 we're tackling ISO and what those numbers on the box actually mean. ISO in its simplest explanation is the film sensitivity to light. It can be referred to as the rating and also the speed. The lower the speed the more light you'll need for your shot to turn out and the higher the speed the lower light conditions you can shoot in. For example use 100 for bright sunlight, 400 as a great all-rounder and 800 for dusk and night. You always want to start by choosing a film that matches your planned light conditions but also your planned outcome. Lower speed films have a finer grain to them and the higher the speed, the more grain you'll see. Lastly, always remember to set your ISO ring accordingly, otherwise your camera won't meter your light correctly if you're switching ISOs. Strike the film or chip is measured in stop and is also known as exposure value. A difference of one stop is a doubling or halving of the light making the image. It used to measure differences in EV of apertures, shutter speed, and film speeds. Fast means the camera exposes a photo too quickly. Light is the essential ingredient of photos, one of the skills that separates photographers. The direction the light comes from can make the image simpler or three-dimensional. Front lighting is easy to photograph, but images are generally flat. Top lighting, such as from the sun overhead, also makes image flat and shadows are short and dark. Side lighting will emphasize texture and contours and create long shadows in color. Taking a photo with digital camera, the 
while balance setting, your camera will affect the color cast of the image, balancing the lighting of the subject. Typical while balance settings of a camera include tungsten, larsen, shade sunny, cloudy, flash, auto, and manual. Filters can also be used to affect the color of light in the image. Top 10 tips in taking great pictures Number 1. Get down on their level Hold your camera at the subject eye level to capture the power of those magnetic gazes and mesmerizing smiles Number 2. Use a plain background Before taking the picture, check the area behind your subject Look out for trees or poles sprouting from your subject head Number 3. Use flash outdoors even the outdoors use the field flash setting on the camera to improve your pictures. Use it in a bright sunlight to lighten dark shadows under the eyes and nose, especially when the sun is directly overhead or behind your subject. Use it on cloudy days to brighten up faces and make them stand out from the background. Number 4. Move in close. To create impactful pictures, move in close and fill your picture with the subject. Move a few steps closer or use the zoom until the subject fills the viewfinder. You will eliminate background distractions and show off the details in your subject. For small objects, use the camera's macro or flower mode to get sharp close-ups. Number 5. Take some vertical pictures. Many subjects look better in a vertical picture from the Eiffel Tower portraits of your friends. Make conscious effort to turn your camera sideways and take some vertical picture. 6. Lock the focus Lock the focus to create a sharp picture of off-center subjects. And these are the list on how to do that. First, center the subject. Second, press the shutter button halfway down. Third, reframe your picture while still holding the shutter button. And lastly, finish by pressing the shutter button all the way. Number 7. Move it from the middle. Bring your picture to life by simply placing your subject off-center. Imagine a tic-tac-toe grid in your viewfinder. Now place your subject at one of the intersections of lines. Since most cameras focus on whatever's in the middle, remember to lock the focus on your subject before reframing the shot. Number 8. Know your flash range. Pictures taken beyond the maximum flash range will be too dark. For many cameras that's only 10 feet, about 4 steps away, check your manual to be sure. If the subject is further than 10 feet from the camera, the picture may be too dark. Number 8. Know your flash range. Pictures taken beyond the maximum flash range will be too dark. For many cameras that's only 10 feet, about 4 steps away, Check your manual to be sure. If the subject is further than 10 feet from the camera, the picture may be too dark. Number 9. Watch the light. Great light makes great pictures. Study the effects of light in your pictures. For people pictures, choose the soft lighting of cloudy days. Avoid overhead sunlight that casts harsh shadows across faces. And number 10. Be a picture director. Take an extra minute and become a picture director, not just a passive picture taker. Add some props, rearrange your subjects, or try a different viewpoint. Most processing software is the use of any technique or technology to enhance the original image captured by a photographer. And then Fade Ramos and I will discuss the workflow of post processing. There are a few actions that achieve great results when applied in raw file. Some of the actions that may be preferred while editing raw file are number one, exposure value adjustment. It able to control the brightness of an image so that it doesn't look up too dark and too bright. Number two, white balance adjustment. It is the adjustment of digital Photoshop to make its color more appear realistic. Hue and tone adjustment. It is to adjust the hue, saturation, and the lightness of the entire image. Number 4. Highlight and shadow recovery. It is an image processing technique used to correct exposure. Number 5. Vibrance and saturation adjustment. It affects all the color intensity and enhances every color image. 
Saturation affects all the pixels while the vibrance only adjusts the less dominant colors. Number 5. Cropping and Rotation Cropping is the removal of unwanted outer areas from an image. Rotating can simply turn it sideways. The actions that be done at RAW files or JPEG stage are Number 1. Noise Reduction It is the removal of unwanted variation in pixel values from an image. Number 2. Sharpening It enhances the details and contrast of an image, making it look clear and vivid. Some of an action that are preferred after conversion to JPEG are Red Eye Removal It is the appearance of red pupils in color photograph of eyes. It occurs when a photographic flash that is very close to the camera lens in the ambient of low light. Number 2. Local touch-up of cloning to erase the unwanted object and frame. Improves the photos removing unwanted elements. Number 3. Adding of frame. It is the basic shape or structure that outline or surrounds to your image. Number 4. Mixing with other JPEG files to changing background. 